Hey, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library, and today we're doing art! Yay! So for today's art project, you are definitely going to need an adult and some help. So make sure you've got one of those before you get started. So today's project, we are going to make some more stuff to hang in our windows. And what you're going to need for this craft is an iron, which is why you need the grown up. You need some old crayons. You're gonna wanna use your beat up ones. Some wax paper, some paper towels, something to use the iron on. I've got some cardboard and a pencil sharpener. So you're going to wanna start with some crayon shavings. And how, the easiest way to get crayon shavings is you take your old beat up crayon of which the library has approximately 60 bajillion and you're going to peel off the wrapper and some of them are more cooperative than others. This one is deciding to take its time. You need enough of your crayon to lose its wrapper that you can stick it in your pencil sharpener, which may never be the same after you do this project. So maybe don't use a brand new super nice one. Stick it in there and just like you sharpen a pencil, you're gonna sharpen your crayon and you're gonna get crayon shavings, nice colored wax shavings. The colors I already have in here are a dark green and a bright green, two different shades of blue, purple and orange. The practice art projects that I already made, my examples that I already made, they came out a little dark, but I like them anyway but I thought maybe another bright color wouldn't hurt. So that's why I picked yellow for this example. So just a little bit of yellow in there. See, and it sharpens your crayon. And also you get some more shavings, just like that. See, Ooh. if you do a whole bunch of them, it does get very staticky and they kind of jump around. And if you want a big bowl of shavings, it'll take you a while. So that's probably the most time consuming part of the whole project is getting all of your crayon shavings. So now on to the actual fun part. For this, you need a nice big thing of wax paper. Now you're gonna fold your wax paper in half. So you want double the size of however big you want your art project to be. I'm gonna use up all of my crayon shavings, so I'm getting a big piece of wax paper. And then you're going to fold it in half. Ta-da. And then you want enough paper towels to cover your or to go underneath and also on top of your wax paper because you don't really want, you're gonna melt the, wa the crayon wax and you don't want that getting really anywhere. You don't want it on your iron. You don't want it on your ironing board. You don't really want the melted wax to be anywhere that it's not supposed to be. So we'll need another couple sheets of that. We'll pull those off for when we're ready for them. There we go. So, you'll open your wax paper back up and you're going to put your wax shavings on just one half of your wax paper. Your crayon shavings on just one half of your wax paper. You don't want them to be piled super thick on top of each other. You want it to be like a sort of thin layer on top of your wax paper because it's gonna melt and sort of 
flow. And again, you can play around with this. If your crayon bucket's the limit, your patience for making crayon shavings will dictate how many you'll have. There you go. My last two, the two I used for examples, I had them all very close together and kind of chunked on top of each other. And it turned out pretty cool, I think, but this time I'm spreading them out a little bit more because I want to see what happens. So pick colors that you think will look kind of nice together and spread it out how, how you want to give it a try. And then fold your wax paper back over and put your paper towel over top. Now this whole time, my iron here has been heating up. Please do not use an iron without your parents, not just their permission, but without them either helping you or watching you, unless you're in the habit of ironing your clothes all by yourself without your parents watching or helping. Do this part with a grown-up or have your grown-up help you do it. I have it on a medium setting. You can have it on medium or medium low. You don't need it to be like super hot for an iron, but that's still hot enough to burn. And you never just put your iron down and leave it on something. That's how you burn stuff. You want your iron to be moving the whole time that it's face down on the surface. And it doesn't take long. So pass it over top a few times. I made a pretty big project this time. Hello. Now you can pick up your paper towel to see what it's doing part way through. I can kind of see through my paper towel a little bit, but I know it's not quite melted yet. See how it's looking under there. Not quite there yet. If you don't have an iron at home, I've also heard that you can melt crayons with hair dryers. Some of my Crafty friends have heat guns that they've done stuff like this with. I've never used a heat gun. I imagine that would work. Pretty much anything you think you could use to get the wax to melt. Oh, it's starting to look pretty melty. I think it's done. Let's take a look. You can kind of smell it when it's done too. Yep, there we go. And that's what it looks like when it's all melted together. There we go. So once it's, it cools off pretty quickly. I'm gonna turn my iron off. And again, this takes a while to turn off or like to, to cool down. So don't touch it for a while. So that's what it looks like. I have one little bit of unmelted crayon right there. That's better. Okay. So what can you do with your blob of melted crayon once you're all done with it? Well, Miss Cindy and I made a couple of sample projects. We like animals, so we made animal projects. I made mine into a sea turtle, and Miss Cindy made hers into a peacock that you can put up in the window to say hello to you. You can see the colors really well through the light if you hold them up to the window. This one you could probably see even better because there's more light colors and the, the wax is on there not quite as thick. So there you have it. That's this week's art project. 
You can make whatever you like. You can make suns, you can make hearts, you can make moons, you can make patterns, you can make whatever you like. Um, and if you'd like to share your projects, at the end, we'd love to see them. We'd also love to see your beautiful faces. The library is now open to the public. Just please remember that if you come to visit us in person, you do need to wear a mask inside the library building at all times. That mask needs to cover your mouth, nose, and chin. Thank you so much, and we hope to see you soon. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye!